hello youtube family let's prevent a solution given this nice exponential equation which is 5 to power x is equal to 1 to so what is the value of x solution from here 5 to power x this is equal to 120 and now to solve for the value of x we introduce the natural logarithm on both sides such as we'll have rock 5 to power x this is equal to rock 120 all right now rock 5 to power x this is actually in the form of rock m to power n which can be expressed as n rock m all right now from what we have here we can express rock 5 to power x as x rock 5 which is equal to rock 120 so we divide both sides by rock 5 and also this side by rock 5 now if we simplify here this is the same thing as x is equal to rock 120 divided by rock 5 okay now from what we have here we can express 120 as 2 to power 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 now let's substitute this this was the same thing as x is equal to rock 2 to power 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 divide this by rock 5 all right so let's proceed we have x is equal to rock 2 to power 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 now this is actually in the form of rock a multiplied by b which you can express as rock a plus rock b now let's apply this logarithm property so that we'll have x is equal to rock 2 to power 3 divided by rock 5 plus rock 3 divided by rock 5 okay plus rock 5 divided by rock 5 okay now let's simplify what we have here so that x is equal to now rock 2 to power 3 applying the power rule property this becomes 3 log 2 divided by rock 5 all right plus we have rock 3 divided by rock 5 plus 1 okay so if you simplify rock 5 and log 5 this is 1 now we can rate x as 1 plus now we have 3 rock 2 divided by rock 5 the same case rock 3 divided by rock 5 this is in the form of rock a divided by rock b which you can express as rock a to base b okay so let's quickly apply this property we'll have x is equal to 1 plus 3 rock 2 to base 5 plus rock 3 to base 5 now this is the value of x this is the value of x now let's verify or check if this value of x actually satisfies the equation okay so let's follow this verify that x actually satisfies the equation if you recall we end at 5 to power x this is supposed to give us a value of 120 so let's substitute the value of x we'll have 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 5 plus rog 3 to base 5 this should give us a value of 120 all right now you can see that 5 to power 1 plus 3 log 2 to base 5 plus log 3 to base 5 this is actually in the form of a raised to power n plus m which we can express as a to power n multiplied by a to power m now applying this indices property we'll have 5 to power 1 multiplied by 5 to power 3 log 2 to base 5 multiplied by 5 to power rog 3 to base 5 and this should give us a value of 120 okay now as you can see we have 5 multiplied by now 5 to power 3 rog 2 to base 5 this can be expressed as 5 raised to power rog 2 to power 3 to base 5 multiplied by 5 to power rog 3 to base 5 this should give us a value of 120 now as you can see 5 to power rock 2 
cubed to base 5. This is in the form of m to power rho a to base m, which is essentially equal to a. Okay. Now that means that if you have 5 to power rho 2 to power 3 to base 5, this is equal to 2 to power 3. All right. And 2 to power 3, this is equal to 8. Okay. And the same case to 5 to power rho 3 to base 5, this is equal to 3. Now let's substitute 8 and 3 back to the equation so that we'll have 5 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 3. This should give us a value of 120. Let's compare this. 5 times 8, this is 40. 40 times 3, which is 120, which happens to be equal to 120 on the right hand side. So the left hand side is essentially equal to the right hand side. And that affirms that the value of x, which is 1 plus 3 rock 2 to base 5 plus rock 3 to base 5, actually satisfies the equation. So follow the steps, like this video, okay? Comment and subscribe, okay? See you in the next video. Bye bye.